Installing your ListenLayer script is fast and easy. Simply copy it from the interface and navigate to Google Tag Manager. We're going to create a new tag. Under Tag Configuration, select Custom HTML and paste the script. Under Triggers, select All Pages. Then we'll simply name our tag. You can go ahead and publish or you can preview. In this case, we'll publish our tag. Now, it's important to jump back to ListenLayer and make sure that your domain names are properly defined. ListenLayer requires you to define your domain names exactly as they will load when the script loads. So if you have a subdomain such as www at the beginning of your URL, you'll need to include that here. And if you have your a website across multiple domains such as www and blog, you'll need to include both of those domains for ListenLayer to work across all of them. In this case, we'll grab our domain name, paste it in. Again, make sure that it's fully written out. Then we'll go ahead and publish our changes. It's important to not forget to publish your changes. Now that that's been published and our script has been published in Google Tag Manager, we'll jump to our website. Open up Inspect Element and jump to the console. I'd like to do a quick hard refresh. If ListenLayer is running correctly on your website, we'll write specific information to the console, starting with your account ID. Following this are diagnostic details about the specific listeners and features that are enabled inside of your account. It's good to double check this ID and make sure that it matches the one that's listed in the upper right corner of the website screen. If you can't implement your script using Google Tag Manager, you can place it directly inside of the code. It will need to exist on every single page and it will need to be put above the GTM container.